Glacier Farms down there in Miami. Y'all be doing it. When I say that I just deep cleaned my apartment, uh, waking up and just seeing nature as soon as you open your eyes, like hits so different. Here we have all raw uh, fettuccine, <laughs> uh, fettuccine a fungi. I mean, honestly, thank God. Holla! Welcome to the mansion! It's spacious in here. <laughs> look at him, what did you do? Look at him! Holy shit! <laughs> it's cold! Oh, Florida. Come on, Florida. I brought the cold. It's 51 uh, degrees. Wish someone in fucking Montana like, fuck you. No, no. We're in Iowa. We're in Iowa. 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 Name three weird Iowa things. Two. David. <laughs> David is one. That was a good answer. And, uh, uh, uh. I don't know, everything's pretty normal there. What's that weird food stuff? Except for me. There's some weird food things going on there. Corn? <laughs> no. I mean, that's cool. Isn't there something that's like an Iowa boot? I don't know. <laughs> Are you cold? No. Don't worry, the mansion has heat. <laughs> heat in Florida. <laughs> His YouTube channel is you coming. like my morning face? Get ready for my YouTube channel. <laughs> What's it gonna be called? Great. Oh no, my battery's dying. It is cold in Florida. I'm at the coffee shop that I'm always at. About to clock in and um, check in on my January goals also. I keep y'all updated. But I gotta charge this camera apparently. So, yeah. Just another day. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Was oh, this video? Yeah. Get my video face on. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> well, we are 0 and 2, but but significantly better in the second game. 14. 14. 21. 12. No, we were at least. I mean, we were five or something. No, we wouldn't have been six. Three? Oh, we were definitely at 16 because we switched at 16, 19. First game, I think we. I'm honestly just like, can I play? <laughs> That's why I was like not good at this score. I'm like, can I just play volleyball still? Yeah. You know, but. Oh. Third game, I'm gonna keep track of the score. Well, first game we lost five twenty one. Right. Second game we lost. It's getting a little chilly. Uh, sixteen to twenty one. Third game we're gonna win. <laughs> well, hello. It's Tuesday, my dudes. I am having a me day. I mean, every day here feels like a me day, honestly. I really, it's kind of the point. That's why I like it. My to-do list today, because I feel like I've been like, just spending a lot of time like, doing Instagram stuff, doing TikTok stuff, and just on my laptop doing stuff. So today, thrift store, crystal shop, my physical shop, maybe a good wholesome lunch, and bike ride. It's been uh, kind of chilly and a little like I don't want to have a hoodie on right now Florida but <laughs> it's still nice the sun is like trying to peek through. I slept really hard last night um, I just been sleeping so good and having so many dreams and I just forgot how much better I sleep in the van than anywhere else just being in nature sleeping is just a whole different like you know like being outside breathing in fresh air and like uh, waking up and just seeing nature as soon as you open your eyes like hits so different yesterday when we were playing volleyball my favorite ear cuff that you guys have literally seen me wear for the past two years probably that i shower in sleep in never really ever take off came off during the volleyball game and it was like a whole moment i'm not even gonna lie to you it's just crazy how we like get attached to these little things but for me it, it had like a deep meaning to it i i got it at a tiny home festival when i was in I, I think you guys might have, I vlogged all that, yeah. When I was in Orlando for that tiny home festival two years ago, three years ago, whatever that was. Just 
represented this like new chapter I was embarking on with like freedom and like yeah all this stuff it just had a lot of meaning to me so that coming off it's still kind of thing I keep touching my ear like uh where's my where's my ear cuff it's like teaching me to like embrace it somehow too at the same time like all right well you don't need the earring to embrace the freedom where did you get the it's just a little stand that yeah, I got on. Where did you get it? Amazon. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for one around here. Just like to put a selfie stick on so you can. Oh yeah, yeah. Instead of carrying a tripod. Yeah, because it's a lot. All of them are just pieces of junk. I know they all fall apart. <laughs> anyway, take care of yourself. Yeah, sure you too. Have a good day. You know, one of the things about the van life that I will always love is that you can just like make anywhere your home kind of. <laughs> like I've been in this parking lot of the cafe I just ate at for like probably an hour, just hanging out in here, just listening to podcasts, doing whatever. No one would probably even know that I'm in here doing this, but even if they did, there's so many van lifers in Florida that it doesn't even, it's not even a thing. I mean, honestly, thank God. What a life. I need to get plastic lids. Anyway, I have so much watermelon juice that I'm like, I can't drink all of this. How do I drink all of this? There is like a bunch of people around despite how like empty it looks right here. <laughs> and it's just always the funniest thing where I, I don't have a team so like I take my pictures, I get all the content stuff you see on TikTok and all those places and blah, blah, blah. And uh, where's my case? Um, and this, I just <laughs> was doing yoga poses and being ridiculous in a bikini. And um, we got a, a lot of stares and that was fun. This old lady was like stunned. It was really not the warmest day. But I just like hate clothes and I just love not having them on, so. We are biking. We are biking. It's half, it's kind of cold, but we're doing it. I think this really pretty nursery. This looks so pretty. I'm gonna ride around a little bit. Oh, riding bikes, hopefully it's not that windy. <laughs> riding bikes is one thing I can do for hours. I do not get tired. But it's cold, so I might just walk around and then take a nap. Sidebar, I got some raw vegan treats. <laughs> Don't judge me. Stop judging me. Glacier Farms, down there in Miami, y'all be doing it. I really, 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 like, think about living in Miami just for them. <laughs> because that Saturday, is it Saturday or Sunday market that's down there all the time? Y'all be doing it. Y'all be doing it with the raw food, damn it.
I realized how great of a vlogger I've been. I'm gonna take this hoodie off. The last clip, we stopped in Dr. Moore's. Hey. Oh, hi there. Dr. Moore's. On the way to this amazing raw spot here in Sarasota called Ioni's. It was so good, worth the drive, so good. I really, Sarasota is unmatched with the raw food. <laughs> I'm waiting on David to pull up to meet me. I don't really know what the plan is today. It's like, sun is coming out. Part of me wants to just jump in the ocean after we eat here and like just have a beach day. But I'm also like kind of ready to get back and I have a billion packages that are awaiting me and like videos I need to film and like things I gotta do. <laughs> so we'll see when I actually like depart Florida. I don't really know. Another good place if you're in Florida or near Sarasota is Beauty of Sprouts. And Green Zebra has raw pancakes that I've never had but I'm so curious about because what? Um, at Dr. Morris, I just got, it's the, we just stopped by the clinic or whatever, and I got GI broom. Solid thing to have around. <laughs> What'd you get? So here we have all raw uh, <laughs> zettuccine, uh, zettuccine a fungi. Great. And a little pesto pizza. And then I got Italian sausage. Cookies, of course. Ooh, that looks really good, actually. Ooh, Ioni knows what's up. What's the meaning of the word Ioni? It's just a name. No, but what's the name? What does David mean? David means the beloved. Does it? Yeah. Casey means brave. Brave? Because mm -hmm. I'm so brave. The beloved and brave and Salem means peace and bud means smoke it up. Blaze it. I mean, clean the fridge, clean the trash can, mop the floors, cleaned up my patio, got rid of just a bunch of like dead plants and things that have just been like sitting around waiting for me to get rid of them. I got rid of them. Energetically, it feels so different in here. You know you deep clean when you clean the trash can though, for real. <laughs> this is my unboxing spot. I got some boxes. Nothing here is getting me a dime. This is from Mindful Souls, monthly uh, subscription-based box thing where you get all this really mindful stuff so <laughs> let's unbox it together encourage yourself believe in yourself and love yourself never doubt who you are oh wow all this is in here whoa so on the back i guess this is showing everything that is in the box you see there's like a bracelet i've never even seen a generator before some crystals a necklace it's funny i've been really like not into crystals lately. And they just keep finding me, so I'm just gonna keep receiving, I guess. So we got white sage leaves. I've actually never seen them just loose like this. Help clear out negative energy, give you peace of mind during your daily life. These generators raise the energy from the earth to the sky and can bring you to blah, blah, blah. Clear of quartz is a master healer. Place energy generators in your home or workspace to protect. Can you see her? Okay, my thing is dying, so ooh, this is really pretty. Rose quartz, I'm gonna like run through these. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Tiger's Eye Sphere. Tiger's Eye is like actually one of my favorites, so. This is the Yellow ap Appetite Waning Crescent Necklace. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. The Moss Agate. Oh my god. <laughs> the race against this dead battery. Oh, she's large. Oh, she's really pretty. Release old habits and fears to inspire growth. Really, really pretty. But anyway, that is my Mindful Souls box. Maybe we'll open this later because my 
thing is dying. All right, we're back. Just had a whole marketing meeting with a friend slash maybe client one day, I don't know. <laughs> but I was just snagging on some cucumbers with this raw vegan dressing or dip that David made me before I left. He's probably not gonna want me to do this, but I'm gonna put the <laughs> recipe down below. It is so good. And it's kind of like really easy to make. It's really good. I need to like somehow eat all of this though before it goes bad. My house feels so good. It's so like clean and light in here. It feels so light. I have a blender that works and I'm about to use it. So you're gonna be like, this really is not making sense. But I am subscribed to Sophia Chang. I don't know who follows her, but I just, her vlogs are so aesthetically pleasing to watch. She has this smoothie, uh, this, this smoothie. She has this blender. It's called The Beast. And I just saw her talking about it one day and it just looks so sleek on her counter and like, I don't know. Sometimes when it comes to this really big blender, for one, it takes up a lot of room on my counter. And I'm gonna be honest, like portion control is a little difficult <laughs> for me still sometimes. So just to have like a smaller blender, I'm somehow justifying this. I really don't have one. Anyway, they sent me this blender and I'm hype about it. And it's like a smaller, sleeker, really cute blender. It's really just aesthetically pleasing. So look at her. Would you just look at it? Let's put her together. How does one get you out of the box, man? So here she is in all her glory. Isn't she just like sleek and fabulous? I don't think you can really like fully get the like minimalist feel of her. Oh, so this is like one of those hydration things where you can infuse water with like any kind of fruit or anything. Very cool. Really into it. Ooh. We love it. We love to see it. And this is like padded. Ooh, it's so sleek. How many, like I have a citrus press, I have a juicer, I have a um, ninja, now I have the beast. We have no shame in it. Okay, so you can put this bigger guy on here. I don't have to be the little guy. All right, well, I'm not gonna try it right now. I just wanted to show it off a little bit. I don't think I have any special discount stuff, but if I do, it'll be down below. Holla! All right, I am uh, gonna use my old blender here. <laughs> Cause don't ask me. I just, if, when things are new, is anyone else like this? Like, I just need them to be new a little bit longer. I don't feel like dirtying it up. I'm just gonna use the old one. When it's time, it'll be time, but it's not time. And then, what time is it? Only two o'clock, wow. This is what feeling, this, getting up early is this is what it's like. Um. 